You're listening to The Leonard Lopez Show on AM820 and 93.9 WNYC. You are actually going to make us a you lobster roll. Know, while we're talking, I'm going to make you a lobster roll just because I like to bring props, okay, even if great. it's cooking on the radio. And I like to eat. And they can't see it and they can't smell it. They can hear us. I've got a little portable burner here, and I'm going to toast the buns uh, in lots of whole butter on this burner. The and bun is kind of the, one of the most important parts of the lobster roll, right? It, it actually is, and the way you the way you prepare the bun is also very important. Um, which, top, which buns do you use in the uh, restaurant? You you have to use a top slice or to what I call top loaders for this kind of sandwich. You couldn't get these in New York when I opened my restaurant almost 15 years ago. So I had to call Pepperidge Farm at the corporate headquarters and get a root driver to come specially to me. Now, this root driver has gotten rich because now he's not only coming to me, but he's coming to all my competitors. Oh, boy. Okay. And, so, and selling them the same product. So... More power to Al Epler, because he's put, I don't know how many of his kids through college on the backs of selling this Pepperidge Farm bun does. All right, so melting butter, and then you're going to put the buns in on their sides, because you want those sides to get nice and golden brown. Okay. And I'm a fiend about golden brown. That's what you aspire to when you're cooking just about anything. Sure. Roast chicken, yeah. buns, whatever. Um, just let it sit in there on the toasted butter, on the uh, melting butter. As soon as you get that really nice color, flip it over, do the other side. And then before you use them, let them sit for just a couple of minutes. If you use them right away, it won't be right. Okay. There's a little trick, and that's that they need to steam a little bit. Hmm. And after the, after they oh, steam wow. for a couple of minutes, you open them up with your fingers to, to put the lobster salad in. You can feel the insides are like like just baked softness. I think butter is one of the most amazing smells because this entire studio... I know, <laughs> all those people are going to be beating this glass window <laughs> down to get in here. So then, okay, so that's the bun thing. So um, the lobster salad, next thing is the most important thing with a lobster, whether it's Maine or Canadian or Nova Scotia Inn or whatever, don't overcook it. Okay, so, so now you're, you're, you're stuffing each of I, the buns each bun with, gets, your, with gets, your salad. gets overstuffed with this perfectly cooked or as perfectly cooked as we can. The lobster wants to be tender. Um, identifiable pieces of claw, tail, and knuckle. And we do a, such a huge amount of this at Pearl that we actually get lobsters of all different sizes. Um, and, and what else is what else do you mix in with the lobster meat, or is that a secret recipe? Okay. If you can make a tuna sandwich, you can make a lobster roll. It's just mayonnaise, salt, pepper, lemon, and a little bit of finely chopped celery, and that's it. So is it time to taste it? Uh, I think so, but we don't have any forks or knives, and you're going to have to, you know, I think I can pick make, it up I and can eat make it. I can make two. Okay. Um, this looks delicious. So when I came up with this idea for Pearl, I thought, let me take all of those New England coastal foods that I love so much and cook them the way a chef would.